for Navratilova, just that it's like she's been here before, wise head, you know, it's, like, it's almost like she's lived this life before. Yeah, she moves so incredibly well. I think she's somehow improved leaps and bounds even since Wimbledon. She, after Wimbledon, went out to the state. She's been there for weeks now. I mean, she's been in New York for three weeks, <laughs> just in the one tournament, but she's been in the States for weeks before that as well, playing more tournaments. And I think just gaining that level of intensity, getting used to the top level of the other players, the pace in which they play at, um, but as you say, she moves so incredibly well. She just keeps that really wide base while she's on court. So she still gets, you know, she gets so many balls back, but she's in great balance when she gets there. Um, and it just puts so much pressure on her opponents. One of the, one of, one of the people in the commenta uh, commentating team was saying that her opponent today just couldn't figure out how she was going to serve. You know, like, if anyone's watched Wimbledon, you know that you all have little tweaks and you kind of know, like, they're going to serve this way. Like, they can't figure it out with her. I mean, what, what, what is she learning? I have no idea. I don't... Uh, the serve as well, as you say, any aspect of a game, that you, if you compare it to a year ago, even to just a few months ago, she suddenly improved so much. Um, the statistics on her returns are incredible. She stands so close in and puts so much pressure on her opponent's second serves, and it kind of has like a knock-on effect then for the rest of the game. They end up hitting more double faults, but they end up just crumbling. They, you can see as the match goes on, they just do not know what to do to beat her. Joe, can you pick up on this theme? I, I've heard a few of your colleagues, former professionals and professionals, saying there's something a bit discombobulating for an opponent when the player you're playing against seems happy, seems kind of positive, and that in itself, almost regardless of the point play, just their, their bearing and what they look like and why they're smiling can almost <laughs> sort of put you off your stride. Just, can you explain that a bit for us? On that thing, and that, if, if I'm right, correct me if I'm wrong here, the final shot was a drive volley, am yeah, I right? Good Which knowledge. is in tennis, OK, so in tennis... <laughs> what is that? And people, well, pe people are coming... Well, maybe you should explain, but my, my take on that is it's a, it's a very, very kind of confident shot, isn't it? It means... And you're running at the net, right. and instead of just slicing it or something or being cautious, you're full on. And, you get, and that is... It's a very bold thing, and it kind of embodies how she plays. Would yeah. that be right? Yeah, absolutely. So a drive volley is when... Um, instead of hitting a regular volley, you kind of hit a, a normal forehand, but taking the ball out the air before it's bounced. So, as you say, you're, you're charging towards the net, you can see the ball's coming up quite high, and she's chosen to hit it before it's bounced. And so that was for match point? That was for the match point. Which is, we... which is, you don't take risks when you're going for match point, do but you? Emma Raducanu does. Um, and she's, we just keep using the word fearless throughout the whole tournament because regardless of the score, she's playing this exactly the same, whether she's up or down, whether it should be a high-pressure point, she goes for her shots exactly the same. Joe, would you agree? I can see you nodding there when we're talking just about her, her Emma just being fearless. I mean, would, would, yeah. would that be your closing kind of strategy for match point? Amongst all of us, <laughs> us particularly, <laughs> you're, you're the one who knows most about what it feels on those big occasions. Give us a thought about the final. It's nine o'clock UK time in the evening. Give us a thought about it. Uh, now, you get to get some sleep now, finally. <laughs> finally. It was worth staying up for, wasn't it? We got to see you a bit of history. To sleep. You, you're going to have that excited thing going on. You, <laughs> know, you go just can't it. sleep. You are. Yeah, so enjoy <laughs> it. Sleep later. Thank you both so Thank much. You. Thank you. Time now is 20 minutes past eight. Let's take you to an evening of glitz and glamour at the O2 in London last night. We're talking about the National Television Awards. Actor David Tennant was among the winners for his drama performance in Des. Line of Duty also won two awards and Anton Deck named as the best presenters. That is for the 20th time in a row. Tim Muffet was on the red carpet. 